We're going to be starting a new circus project where we're going to make a background for our circus and then in later lessons we're going to collage some details over the top. So the first lesson is making this background and it's going to be like the inside of a circus tent. So we want to try and give it this ellipse effect so it looks like we're in the ring of the circus looking out onto the audience. So the first thing you need to do is starting at the bottom of your page make an oval shape that doesn't quite fit on the page so the bulk of the oval is at the bottom of the screen and you just you can't quite see the end of that oval now you're going to make a little mark at that halfway point where the oval bulges out and this is going to be part of the stage that's around the ring so you start where that point is but then you fill in your arch with a bit of a gap maybe like a finger space so at the top it widens out to about a finger space but at the sides you start right on the edge now we're going to do another layer. This is going to be another oval shape and it's going to start off again, roughly a finger space, but it's going to come right to the edge. So just where your dots are on the edge of your oval, you're going to bring this new line all the way to the edge where those little dots are. And this is going to be building up to make that ring where the circus performers are going to be collaged onto later. Okay, once you have that layer done, you're going to put a little star in the center of your ring. Now you can do my style of star, which is a bit like the Texas star, or you can have a go at doing your own kind of star. Once you have your star done, you're going to do some more lines like a rainbow shape. So it's going to follow the contour of that outside edge of your circus ring. And it's, you're going to just build up three more lines. It, it's going to look a little bit like a rainbow, but these are actually going to represent the audience in their seats. So you're going to do one, then two lines in the shape of a rainbow, and then one final line to represent the back row of where the audience is sitting. Okay, once you have that stage done, you're going to put some stripes in the background for the stripy tent walls. So the way I'm dividing mine up is I'm putting a line in the middle, then I'm finding the quarter way line, so just in between those lines and quarter there then I make one more line in between each section so halfway through that section one more line halfway through that section one more line halfway through that section one more line and finally one more line halfway between that section so you've got roughly equal kind of stripes along the back wall now this step is putting the seats in so you just kind of do like a fingernail shape like a tip of a finger shape and once those are in you're going to start your painting now i'm going to recommend a color scheme of mostly red and white because those are traditionally circus colors so the first thing you're going to do is try and differentiate your different sections of the ring so the ground of the ring i've done a light red and then the kind of the surface of the wall that goes around the ring i've done a dark red then the stripes at the back, I'm painting those with red. And then the wall of the, of the ring I'm doing in a brown. Now you've got to remember to try and make your paper dry before you start a new layer otherwise it will all splurge together so you need to think about drying each section as you go. So this is representing the back of the audience seating area. So I'm just painting that and then just with water on my brush I'm filling in the gaps between the seats. And 
And once I've got that step, I'm going to paint the seats in a gray color. So I'm mixing up a gray with some black and some white, and then I'm going to put that in. Now again, you've got to try and make sure your paper's dry, otherwise it will all splurge into each other. So this is probably as far as we're going to get in the first lesson that we do on this background. The second lesson that we do, I will show you now what the next technique is, but once you have this watercolor background, the next step is to define those edges with a coloring pencil. So for example here, I'm going around these edges of the arena with uh, different colors. So a brown pencil, a red pencil. I'm also putting my stripes in with really neat edges. So where my brush hasn't quite done a straight line, I've drawn those lines in and now I'm coloring in any little white gaps that were left behind. I'm also going around the outline of the audience chairs with a black pencil. I'm also adding a little bit of shadow on the side of each chair just to make them look a little bit more three-dimensional. I'm filling in that background row behind the audience chairs. And then finally, I'm going to go back over my star. I've made my star look a bit 3D. You don't have to do that technique. And this is what your finished circus background will look like. This is a two lesson project. So this is what we'll, you'll have in two weeks time.